What's up, Collider fans? Boris Kidd at the Hollywood Reporter dropping an exclusive from deep within the danger zone about Top Gun 2. Stay tuned. Jeff Snyder here, joined by John <laughs> Roca and true Top Gun fan. Yes. Danger zone! Let's do this thing. What do you think about this? We got Nicholas Holt, yeah. Glenn Powell, and Miles Teller are the front runners to play Goose's son in Top Gun 2 alongside Tom Cruise. John, who, <laughs> who, who do you like? What do you think of this list? This is an interesting choice between these three. Dis they're very different actors bringing different energy to the roles. Miles Teller, I remember in Bleed for this, he's got this kind of like more macho approach, more uh, underdog fighting for the what he wants thing. Uh, Glenn Powell, really great in, in Hidden Figures, has like more composed you know, kind of like leading man type of approach to things, very relaxed. And Nicholas Holtz, that earnest kid, you've seen him when he does The Beast and, of course, in About a Boy. So to me, these are three interesting energies to put on screen. But for me, looking at it, I'm leaning towards Nicholas Holt a little bit. And I'll tell you why. It is because Anthony Edwards and Meg Ryan in the movie, in Top Gun, are these like jovial, happy people. They, they have great energy. And of course, uh, obviously, Goose dies. But Meg Ryan had that very playful energy. And I think that's the kind of kid they would create. I don't know that they would create a Glenn Powell or definitely not a Miles Teller, in my opinion. So I would love to see Nicholas Holt Take that, uh, take that, uh, put that helmet on and get in the plane. Wow, that is a terrible take. <laughs> uh, Top Gun. What is? What could be more American than the Top Gun franchise? You need an American sure. in this role. Uh, Nicholas Holt is all, right. all wrong for it. All right. I would be uh, much happier. And again, I'm not even a big Top Gun fan. I don't right. really like this movie that much. You're insane. But I do love Tom Cruise, and we'll see anything that he does. I think that Glenn Powell and Miles Teller would be much better suited to play Goose's son than Nick Holt. Glenn Powell, I've I've loved since the moment I saw him in Everybody Wants Some. Mm -hmm. He's uh, the ladies really like him. He's in Set It Up, which is available on Netflix right now. Yeah. And as you said, he was uh, quite good in Hidden Figures. However, I, this may be too big a jump for him. Like he oh. feels like I, I could totally see him in a Tom Cruise movie, but it's, he feels more like Jack Reacher franchisey to me. Okay. I think Miles Teller putting on a pair of aviator shades, playing some kind of a cocky pilot alongside Tom Cruise would be perfect. Like you got it. This is Top Gun, man. This is like right, but one of Tom Cruise's signature roles. You you can't spare any expense. Go for the biggest movie star, which out of these three, I think is Miles Teller. Well, it certainly is the biggest movie star, Miles Teller. But that being said, they would not have a cocky kid. Maverick would have a cocky kid, that's for sure, but n not uh, not Goose. So I, I would push back a little bit on that as a lover of the film. Uh, and I would say Nicholas Holtz would rather choice. But Glenn Powell's an interesting choice. Glenn Powell looks more like Iceman's son, so it would surprise me if they went that route. Uh, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be hurt by it. And I think Cruz would take care of him. You say it's a big league. I think Cruz would take care of him. On a set well, like this, Tom making Cruise that movie, leap. no matter exactly. what. Like, so know, he'll take care of. Nobody's still in the spotlight of Tommy C. I, I think Miles is my my last choice of these three. Inter that's that's interesting. I think he's the best actor of these three, oh. just in terms of actual oh, dramatic well, chops right, as fair. well. So uh, I think that he would e elevate things a bit. Uh, of course, they're going to be uh, joined by Val Kilmer, mm -hmm. who is back. I don't know how big his role will be. It'll be interesting to see whether Meg Ryan returns. Yeah, I would like to see that. I hope You'd she think does. That she would. Yeah, Meg Ryan, maybe Kelly McGillis. You got to bring them all back for God's sake. What's Tom Skerritt doing? He's got to be doing something. You got to get him in there as well. And this one, uh, this movie hails from Joseph Kosinski, mm -hmm. who directed Cruise in Oblivion. Um, I liked know, Oblivion. Yeah, no, we, we still don't have an official like uh, log line, do mm -hmm. we? No, not that I've heard, seen. Yeah, and filming is actually underway, so right. we're going to get a decision on this really quick. Uh, they were testing actors, according to THR, as recently as uh, last week. Um, the other guys who tested were Dylan O'Brien and Austin Butler from Yoga Hosers. Dylan oh. O'Brien, actually, I think would have been interesting. Dylan would have been a nice choice. I enjoyed uh, he might American be a little assassin. bit young. Yeah. Do you think, do you think this, uh, these three choices mean the production is heading towards the right direction with yes, the sequel? Yes, no, I, I definitely like this short list. This is mm -hmm. a solid list. Uh, like you said, uh, varies a little mm -hmm. bit in terms of the types of, of guys that are looking to, to star alongside Cruz, but all of them talented. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Um, so now it's your turn, guys. Let us know what you think about this. Should there even be a Top Gun 2 in the first place? Are you excited for a sequel? And then which of these three guys would you like to see as Goose's son? Uh, leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to Collider, all that good stuff. This is John Roca. I'm Jeff Snyder. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.